Hi, my name is Marco and I'm from Brazil. This video is for the assignment to the course Introduction to Music Production. I'll show you the functions of each component in a channel strip in the analog mixing board. Usually, in a mixing board, the sound moves from the top to the bottom. Generally, we have the input section in the top and the output section in the bottom, in the fader. In this board, in the very top of the channel, we have the input section. This is the XLR input to connect to microphone, and this is the line input for a line level source. This input supports balanced or unbalanced cable. You can connect TRS or TS cable. In this section yet, we have the input level control, sometimes called gain and sometimes called trim. These three controllers allow us to manipulate the A key of the track. That includes the high, the mid and the low. After that, we have the auxiliary section. With this, I can send the signal of this channel to, an, to external devices like a compressor. Or I can use this level control to send a signal of this channel to a monitor. With the pen, I can change the level between the two channels, between two channels, to, uh, I'm sorry, this is the, the pen. I can move the, the signal to the right or I can move it to left. And this is the button that controls the level, that amplifies the signal of the channel. And this is the main control of the level of the whole mixing board. For this assignment, we will not talk about all the resources of this mixing board. When we see a mixing board for the first time, maybe we can be scared because there are so many buttons and faders and controllers. But if you know to use a channel strip, you will know how to use a great part of the board. As you take time to know and use your mixing board, you will operate this easily.